This is Task Spoon, the series where I try to complete the collection log one random task at a time. After completing all the easy tasks, I'm ready to move on to longer and harder challenges as I attempt to conquer the medium tier. Welcome to Season 2 of Task Spoon. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 33 of the Task Spoon series. In the last episode, first episode of season one, we started things off with some crazy archaeologist, and we did some pest control and the medium fremenic diary, and then we rolled a shaman mask task, which I still don't really know what it is or what the purpose of it is, but let's talk about that. So this is the shaman mask. I don't know why they call it a shaman mask. They should call it an ogress mask because you can get it from the warriors or the shamans, but either way. Uh, it is essentially the same thing as an Iron Fullhelm, just a bit fancier. And I'm going to be killing the Ogres Warriors because I can safe spot them while I do some editing. And they have a variety of drops, not really that noteworthy. A few good Alks, but other than that, nothing really too special. Uh, they are in the Corsair Cove dungeon. Never been there before. Don't really know what's in there. I'm hoping there's a convenient safe spot where... I can hit the warriors and the shamans won't hit me because the shamans attack with range, so I don't want to attack those. Uh, I have no idea where that's going to be in here. There seems to be a lot of places, so hopefully I can find one that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've never been here before, so let's just go over there and start looking for a good spot. Okay, so I've made my way to the Corsair Cove dungeon. And I found a couple of little spots here that I'm guaranteed to be safe from the two Ogres Warriors that spawn here. And I can just bounce back and forth between the two spawns. So this should be good to go. Um, yeah, not really much to say here. Uh, just gonna be safe spawning them with range and hope that I get the 1 in 1200 drop. I don't know if it's actually that much better or if I'm just excited about having them. But having the glory in the Barrow's gloves, I don't know, my DPS just feels so high. Like, I, I don't know, I just hit every time. It's great. Which is going to be very nice considering a 1 in 1200 drop here. This could take a while. Uh, I mean, I haven't been here that long. I've killed, I guess I can check, uh, 34 so far. So obviously, you know, I'm just getting started. But yeah, could be here a while. And we just passed 100 KC. Still nothing really of note other than a few rune med helms for some nice alks. And we got 83 range, so that's good. But yeah, gonna keep going. And just finished 200 kills. Again, nothing really of note other than a bunch of gems. Uh, these are supposed to be 1 in 29 each, I think. I don't know if this is on drop rate or not, but it's pretty useful. And 300 kills, still nothing. And that last kill marked 400 KC. Still nothing really, although I will say, uh, this is a pretty cozy little area. If I was on like a fresh Iron Man, or maybe even a free-to-play Iron Man, because I'm pretty sure you can go here in free-to-play, uh, this would be a fun little area to just grind out some ogresses, get some range levels or some mage levels. Early mage levels might be really good here. You get a bunch of alks, I mean you can see my cash stack and all these runes. I don't know, it's pretty nice. Also, not to mention the big bones for early prayer experience would be pretty nice. I mean, I've killed, you know, 400 of them, and 15 XP per big bone, that's like a billion XP, I don't know. It's pretty good. Well, I just finished editing episode 1 of season 2, and I'm pretty happy with it. That doesn't sound like a big accomplishment, really, but... That includes making the new intro and an overlay for a thing and learning how to do some new stuff with my software that I didn't know how to do that I needed to do. So I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I can get back to my grind. This is the first time that I've been able to log in since their servers went down like two days ago. Uh, and I have like no clips recorded and I just put out the last episode and I need to get some tasks done. So here I am, let's get back to the grind. Oh, and I passed 500 KC, still nothing. Hey, 58 prayer. And 600 KC, 800. Oh, and we just passed 1000 KC. Still nothing of interest, but we'll keep going.
What the? I just got a rune full helm and a rune med helm in the same kill. Jesus. Alright, and with this kill, that's 1200 KC. I'm officially at the drop rate. Uh, I'll put a little screenshot here of the loot so far. If you're curious what kind of loot you could be looking at trying to get this yourself, here it is. And yeah, we'll keep going. I did it! Nice. 14, 16 KC. Finally. Yes. Oh, I can do something else. Yay. What a fantastic piece of equipment. Oh, I just realized she's wearing the same helmet. Oh, neat. It's been like four days since I started this task, although like one and a half of them are when the servers went down, so it's not really my fault. But yeah, that one took a while. So glad to complete that. And let's get a new task. Okay, mid training arena. All three of the wand upgrades are actually in the medium tier, so by the end of it I'll actually have a master wand, which is pretty cool. But currently I'm a beginner wand, so I have to upgrade to apprentice, which will take uh, this many points, because I've already done the first one. So 60, 60, 60, and 600 should be very quick, considering the last thing I did was like 200, 200, 225, and 1200, I don't know. Uh, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Let's just go do it. Well, I didn't even really say that I was starting, but I started and I'm done. Uh, I didn't realize just how quick it would be to get 60 points there, but here we go. On to the next thing. And of course by done, I mean done with that room. I still, I still have the other three rooms. And this is going to be the telekinetic room done as well. Uh, like I said before, 60 is not a lot of points and this is going by very quickly, so that's nice. Well, then the enchantment room took like five minutes, so that's pretty good. Uh, one more to go. Oh, and we're at 60. That should be everything. Go up here and talk to this guy and Apprentice Juan. Perfect. Nice. For some reason, my recorder didn't record the video, but I completed the task, got a new one. As you can see, Shades of Morton. And I was saying that the Mage Training Wand upgrades are actually really big. If I can get the Master Wand, it can auto-cast Ancients and Archaeus Spellbook stuff and regular Spellbook, and it's really good. So getting those early in the medium tier is actually nice. And yeah, we got a Shades of Morton task, so let's go and start that. So looking at my Shades of Morton log, the next thing that I'm going to get is probably going to be one of the locks. Now, there's no real reason to go for the lower locks first. You don't need them to upgrade or get your coffin. So I'm just going to go for the silver locks first. That's the key that I can get the easiest, or the highest key that I can get the easiest. So, gonna just open a bunch of silver keys. I have three, but probably gonna get some more before I go in there. And yeah, let's just go do it. Okay, I didn't bother recording the boring part of me actually getting the keys, but here I am with most of an inventory of keys, and gonna just start opening them. Mm, nothing there. Hey, we got some locks. Nice, I didn't even get to the silver keys yet. But hey, that'll be useful next time we do this task. We can make a coffin. Sick. It's a little bit unfortunate that I got all these silver keys and I don't even get a chance at the silver locks because they're better so I could hold more uh, remains. But hey, got it done. I'm actually going to go make the coffin now before I go back. And then we can get a new task. I've never actually done this before, but considering there's a locks option on the guy, I assume I just press that and then he makes it into coffin? Uh, yeah, mm hmm do the thing. Uh, oops, I actually picked the wrong one. Neat! And we can complete that one on the spreadsheet, and I'm making sure that I'm actually recording it this time. That is good. Uh, let's get a new task. Carpenter equipment. Oh, Mahogany Homes. Okay, this should be pretty quick because I already did some of this, so I have some points saved up. But yeah, more construction training. Like I said, you get the outfit from Mahogany Homes. It is the construction experience boosting outfit. You just pay points, get the outfit. Easy as that. Uh, the boots are at 200, so it'll probably be the thing that I buy first. Now, I think I might actually be kind of close to that. I'll have to go and check. I'm probably in the like 
160-ish point range if I had to guess, so this shouldn't take too long at all. Now, luckily, I actually still have some teak planks left from the last time when I kind of made too many by accident, so that is good. Uh, that also reminded me that I forgot to actually build the portals in my portal chamber, like I mentioned that last time. So I'm going to do that real quick right now. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll go check how many points we need for the outfit piece. Well, this is a bit anticlimactic, but I already have 200 points. <laughs> so we're just going to buy the boots. Ba -ba -da! Yay, we did it. And we can complete that one here and get a new one. Hopefully something a little bit more challenging. Ectoplasmator. I don't know what that is. I've actually never heard of this item in my life. Uh, you get it from Soul Wars, and it gives you prayer experience when you kill spiritual monsters as a percentage of their health. I I've literally never heard of this before. That's actually kind of cool because they don't usually drop anything to give prayer XP, so it's just like free prayer experience anytime you kill them. So I will actually use this, so I guess that's good. But yeah, I've never heard of this before. Uh, but basically, we just got to go play some Soul Wars, so yeah, let's go do it. Here I am, made it over to Soul Wars. Uh, I have done a bit of Soul Wars on the account in the past, but I'm only at like 28 zeal, and we need 250 to buy the Ecto, whatever it's called. So yeah, I don't know how much zeal per hour I'm going to get, but it really shouldn't take too long. Just going to go and play. Going to get to train my defense up a little bit while I'm in here. Yeah, let's just do it. Well, I'm about halfway done in terms of zeal, and I just hit 65 defense, which is actually a really important level. I can go and do the King's Ransom quest and Knight's Training Wave thing to unlock uh, Piety and Chivalry, which will be very nice next time I need to do any melee grind with prayer, so I'll probably end up doing that. But still going to keep training defense, try and get 70 for that Barrow's Armor. And yeah, like I said, we're at about 125-ish zeal, so halfway to go. That was a pretty good game for me. Got the 60 zeal. Uh, t 21 more zeal to go. Should just be one more game. Alright, three seconds left here. Should be well over what I need. Another 60 zeal game. We can go ahead and buy ourselves the thing. Uh, other... Nice. Like I said before, uh, I've never used this item, I don't know what it is, but it seems like it's just free passive prayer experience while I kill spectral things, so... Cool, we'll take it. Uh, let's go get a new task. So depending on what this is, I might be able to squeeze it in at the end of this video. Uh, if it's a longer task, we'll probably just save it for the next one. But complete that, and let's get a new one. Dragon Pickaxe Upgrade Kit. Oh, that's gonna be LMS, isn't it? Okay, so it's only 14 points. That's not too bad. Uh, the last time I did LMS, I had to buy the Lava Staff Upgrade Kit, which was 13 points. So, uh, should be sort of similar to that. Although, I do know a little bit more what I'm doing at LMS now. I'm still terrible at PKing, but hopefully it'll be a little bit faster. Uh, let's just go try and do it this video. Okay, I am ready to go PKing. Uh, if you want to check out episode 10 for the last time that I tried this, you can see that I am not very good at PKing. Definitely not my specialty. Uh, I'll try my best, but here we go. Gonna probably just put in some clips of me maybe actually getting kills, or more likely probably just dying? Either way, let's do it! Okay, well that guy sucked. Well, unfortunate. That's actually how I end up getting most of my points here, is I kill the first person who doesn't know what the hell they're doing even more than I don't, and then I die immediately to the next person who won their first fight because they actually know what they're doing, but yeah. Uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting really lucky today with people that have no idea what they're doing, or just straight up bots, I can't tell. Oh, I didn't record that one, but I got them. Okay. I really don't know what I'm gonna end up showing for this part of the video. 
Uh, I'm not good enough at PKing to commentate while I do it, and most of my clips are just me dying or getting a kill and then saying nice or oh no. But anyway... Or there are clips like this, where the guy just literally does nothing and gives me a free kill. Which I appreciate, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, also, I freaking hate pure PKing. Uh, I'm so bad at it, and every time it's a pure PKing... That's actually the first kill I've gotten on a uh, pure PKing round, so... I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but... Yeah, I'm so bad at this. I'm this these ones I just go and run and hide. If I get a first kill, I'm just running and hiding. I don't care. Me when I have to do LMS for my task. Oh, just me and one other guy left. Guaranteed second place. Uh yeah, you can just I'll just run in here. He'll probably just kill me and that that's fine. I, I accept this. This is my fate. Unless I won a game! I'm so good at RuneScape! Holy crap! <laughs> if we, uh, if we check the scoreboard over here, uh, I don't, I don't have any business winning any games of LMS, but hey, we'll take it! Free win, thanks to that guy. I'm so sad that that wasn't enough points to get my, uh, get my item. I'm up to 12 now, I need 14. That would have been such a cool way to just end the video with an LMS win. Uh, but I can get this tier 1 cape, which is a collection log. Nice. Each of the capes for wins at LMS are all on the passive tier, so you never actually need to win any games of LMS, thank goodness. But that is kind of cool that I did. Okay, well that guy took off all of his armor and then just died to me. I don't know what that was about, but thanks. Okay, nice. That should be our last point. No matter what happens, I think we're done. There we go. 14 points. We can buy the thing. Dragon pickaxe upgrade kit. Nice. I still can't believe I won a game. That's so funny. That didn't actually take me that long to complete, but I have so many clips of me just dying or killing someone who was AFK or not doing anything. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to show. Hope you found that interesting. Uh, we can complete that one. And get a new task for next video. Back to easy clues, alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave it a like to let me know. Maybe even a comment telling me what you liked. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.